Welcome. In this video, if you follow along, we will have a short introduction into Flask REST X. So it's an extension module, module for Python's Flask module, and it allows you to create APIs. And if you were to install Flask and Flask REST X, it will not work. There is currently a dependency issue. It may be resolved by the time you watch this video. But basically what you have to install is the WorkZoig module and you have to install Flask 2.1.2 and the Flask REST X. So now we are good to literally start the demonstration. So if we were to write a Flask application, this is what it will look like. We can have the usual import statement, we create our application, and after that, we define our route, the method, and the function associated with it. And if we run it, and visit the browser, you will see a small hello message. So now, if we go ahead and create our flask rest x.py, what we have to do is to import from flask the flask class and from flask rest x import the API, the resource, and uh, rec pars. And now we can create our app from the Flask class and the API from the app. And we can use the API.route to define a context route. And we can have the hello world class, which is going to be a resource and we can define the get method with the self and return flask rest x is cool now if the name is equal to main then we can use the app that run and if we go back to the console and execute it, in the browser you should see the following. Here we have the Swagger documentation for the API and we can get the Swagger.json and in the default namespace we have a get function defined and basically we can try it out and the response was this basically and uh, yeah let's say we want to define a post method this is how we can do it post is also working if we save it and run it in the browser, after reloading the page, the default namespace will show us that we have a post response def definition. And we have the response type and whatever. What we can also do is to specify path parameters. So basically, if we were to modify our route with the string name, what we can do is here specify the name argument. And basically, we could extend the response with the name equals name and use the f to make it a, an f string. And if we stop it and rerun it and reload it, you will see in the default namespace 
that we have the get with the name and the post with the name. So now if we try it out and say that the name is Daniel, you will see that basically the response body is flex rest is cool and the name is Daniel. What we can also do is provide uh, query parameters. So here, what we would like to do is to create uh, another route with the query param. And uh, basically, what we would like to do is to have our class query with the resource and define the get self and parser is going to come from the rec parse that request parser and basically we would use the parser dot add argument and this would be the name and the type is going to be a string and help is going to be the name of whatnot and we could add another argument called age this would be an integer it would also have the age of whatnot there and uh, this one has to be defined below the API definition and then what we can do is to add the at API dot doc and parser equals parser and for the self the args is going to be parser dot parse args and return hello name and age and this would be an f string and we say that args name and args age and now if you run flask restx once again and visit the web page in the default namespace we will see the following we have the get query param and we can try it out with uh, Daniel and the age of 31 and execute it <coughs> and basically query param I may have a typo Parser, parsers, and this would be a post function. So now, if we go back. we should be able to make this work and uh, technically that was what i wanted to show you as an introduction for flask rest x see you in the next one